Peace be to you all. Assalamu alaikum. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician associate, health educator, and middle age endurance athlete. So, I wanted to answer a question um, from uh, somebody in the comment section about what physician associates make. And to that, I answer by saying it depends. Um, so, the average salary the average annual income for uh, PAs as of uh, 2021 is I think something like $112,000 per year, which sounds like a lot compared to the average income for the average American of, I think it's $60,000. Uh, so it sounds like a lot, but when you factor in other things, you see, it's it's not it's it's still kind of an average type of salary, and I say that because you've got to factor in things like quality of life, uh, how much you owe on student loans. Becoming a PA has become exceedingly expensive as uh, the cost of college has gone up. But on average, it's about 112,000 in terms of uh, what you can expect starting salary for PAs. Having said that, there's a lot of jobs that are starting new PAs as high as uh, um, 65 to 70,000, which is about 130 to um, uh, 140,000 a year. So the way we PAs get paid is um, is uh, there's multiple ways. So there's straight salary, number one, and there is also, um, there's also wages. And all of these things can be variable. Uh, it's, it's what you can negotiate with, with a um, prospective employer. Uh, so you got to factor in different things. Where you're working, you know, what PAs make in California is markedly higher than what they make in rural West Virginia. But the cost of living is markedly different. So you got to take those things into consideration. And then um, understand also that when you're talking about income, um, for us PAs anyway, uh, you're talking about um, linear income. So this is a concept from a uh, uh, Robert Kiyosaki of uh, Rich Dad Poor, Poor Dad fame. So linear income, meaning you have to work uh, in order to make money. So you're providing a service and that service is um, taking care of patients or you're doing procedures. So I've been a PA for a little over 20 years. Um, 15 was spent as a, uh, an outpatient and I've spent the last six um, as a hospitalist PA. So there's procedures that I can do and we can we can bill for those procedures depending on the person's insurance and, and how that you know kind of health administrative financial stuff works out. But again it's linear income. Um, in terms of what a, a, a PA is potentially able to make Again, that, mer that varies markedly. If you're doing, I've made as little as 56,000 a year uh, for my first job um, in working in an outpatient um, uh, nonprofit clinic. And uh, it's very nonprofit. We were supported by a government grant. And I, I was happy to get that $56,000 <laughs> a year because I was working as a, as a $7 an hour nurses aid before that <laughs> um, you know and, and back then back in 2000 PAs were making I think our average salary was about mid 60s so like 65 thousand a year give or take a couple of thousand um, but that was 20 years ago but now I said you know with with um, what's expected of PAs now with their advanced training and uh, you know more 
brief. <laughs> our advanced training and then the way insurance companies reimburse for PA's, PA surge, uh, services where we make, we make more. But the cost of living's also gone up. My wife and I bought our first apartment in a very nice area for $56,000 a year. So we were, yeah, so my salary was what we paid for our house, our first home, <laughs> which is not the case anymore. In our neighborhood, I'm here in Brightwood, Chillum by uh, Tacoma Park, Washington, D.C., the houses are going for close to a million, you know, fully renovated. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so, but, you know, you got this, and, you know, a car, a brand new car will cost you about 25000 not adding the other stuff that they put on. And then the cost of colleges have gone up markedly. My kids are going to community college now. Um, you know, and even that's become more expensive. So you got to factor in all of those things when looking at what PAs make. And I say that because people get excited. Somebody else asked me a question like, can PAs make 200000 a year? Well, yeah, sure they can. I mean, I personally know PAs making 200000 a year which is more than, you know, some internist MDs make. Certainly if you're an MD and you're a peds specialist or a geriatric specialist, you know, they make you know, about 200, maybe a little over that. It's not a lot, uh, you know, comparison to their, their uh, education and what they probably owe in student loans. So that's something you need to you need to consider. This is really hard. I got a 20 pound weight vest and 10 pound uh, your ankle weights on my arm. But you gotta you gotta consider all of that stuff when uh, trying to factor in your your salary and how many hours a week do you want to work and do you want to moonlight? I'll do another video about uh, this concept of lateral mobility. Um, as a PA, you know, you hear a lot of PAs say, oh, you know, I can work at the hospital and then go moonlight at a, at a nursing home or peds clinic on the weekends. Not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily, you know, especially as PA, as our, as our training and our jobs have become more specialized. I'll do another video about that. But anyway, I hope this answered the question for some people on average. You, ex you can expect to, to earn about, uh, let's say about, I'm going to bump it up and say about 116, 116,000 a year, starting out as a fresh new PA with no experience coming straight out of school. Um, and after a few years, make around 130 to 150, depending on what you do. I've made as much as about 170 a year, um, and it can go as high as, you know, maybe 250 if you're going to hustle, <laughs> especially if you're at a very exclusive um, dermatological clinic that does aesthetics medicine, making people, making already beautiful people more beautiful. -er. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Um, if you guys want any advice on how to become a PA or a health educator or uh, fitness tips, I'm still learning myself. I've been running marathons for almost 30 years now. Still going strong. Just won my age group in the 50 to 59 category in, in a local marathon. So I'm doing that. Uh, wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. Um, I hope that you're Hope and pray that your dreams and goals come true uh, for 2022. Take care. Peace.